all over the world. Suspension training is gaining a lot of takers, from professional athletes to regular gym goers. All suspension training allows you to use gravity along with your own body weight to build on your strength, balance, flexibility and joint stability. But with so many choices out there, which one do you choose? Let's take a look at some of the top suspension training equipment, starting with the TRX. TRX has many products to offer, but its most popular still remains the suspension training TRX straps they started out with. They're extremely popular and quite compact, so you can carry them around even if you're traveling. But the hitch is to find a safe, secure point to dangle them down from. Since your entire body weight is resting in these straps, sometimes in fairly precarious positions, you want to make sure that the straps are hoisted securely. Apart from that, TRX is a great way to work out. A lot of gyms even offer TRX training in small and large groups, so you don't have to restrict yourself to personal training sessions simply to avail of its benefits. With its highly flexible design and the millions of combination exercises that are possible with it, TRX remains the number one choice the world over in suspension training. Next up is the cross score. The cross score adds an element of rotational movement to your favorite bodyweight exercises. This adds an extra challenge to your balance and to your stability. The cross core is a competitor that has earned some serious consideration as an alternative to TRX. It is a versatile, top quality product that fits into your bag and even comes with a built-in door anchor, so it can easily be set up anywhere. The main difference between TRX and cross core is a pulley system housed in a structure as sturdy as a tank. This system allows you to perform movements with rotational motion so as to mimic the natural movements of the body. This makes quite a difference in your workout, as you will notice even when performing the simplest exercises. If you have any asymmetries in your strength, they will appear immediately. It even accepts counterweights such as kettlebells into your workout, making it dynamic, different and variable. The RIP60 is also extremely popular. Its USP is a concept called the Optimization Zone, which allows the user to carry on with the movement pattern without stopping, either for rest or for adjustment. The RIP60 is a suspension trainer-based workout program invented by a former track athlete, now trainer, named Jeremy Strom. The straps come together in a metal cradle in the center, which is supposed to simulate the action of a pulley, but with some added resistance. It's not smooth like a pulley is, and it's not supposed to be. If it was, you would probably find yourself face planted on the floor while doing some of these exercises. But part of the magic of the RIP60 is what Jeremy Strom calls the optimization zone, which is very powerful. Essentially, if you're doing a workout and you start to fatigue, instead of stopping to rest, you simply decrease the intensity by taking a small step back and you keep going for the entire duration of the zone by lessening the load but you just keep on moving. It works very much like a drop set and fries the muscle to absolute fatigue and absolute muscle recruitment. So which one of these is the best? I personally like the cross core. It's much more versatile and offers a lot more variations than the others. But suspension training itself works wonders. So if any of these are nearby, I suggest you get yourself there and learn how to fly.